hello friends so in this video we'll be learning that uh, how to create hdris in your scene or how you can change the daylight evening light or you can make the scene cloudy you can make it fully sunny you can show the sunset or sunrise using different settings of the la uh, light as well as hdri in the scene okay so first of all i have created one scene you can also create your own scene and uh, just once you have completed your scene like you have made any any building the exterior or interior view once you have set the camera then you will be starting working with the lights now in this scene let's say uh, into the ipr i will restart the ipr then see what the scene looks like mm, okay it is taking little time now see in this uh, scene there is no external daylight or any kind of light coming from outside right only inside uh, room light is added into the scene so that is why the this light on the right side it is vis visible to you now let's stop this one and add dome light how you will be going to add the dome and just follow the cursor i am into the top view of the scene this is my uh, design now here i have set the camera now you need to go to the lights change it to v-ray because i am working into the v-ray okay now you have to select the v-ray light then into the type and select dome light okay now click anywhere on the screen this kind of symbol will be there in front of you now you can see if you deselect it it will look like this okay now i have selected this light okay and you have to go to the modify command where it will show you all the properties of the light like what is its multiplier color type target everything is there right now i will be going again into the camera view now i will start the ipr now i have clicked on the refresh now you can see little bit light is coming from outside right so the intensity of that light entirely depends upon this multiplier value let's say from 1 i am directly increasing it to 10 so as you can see the difference of the light coming the intensity of light coming from outside right slowly the scene will get clear it also depend upon uh, your uh, the power of your machine okay or computer now see now if i will further increase this one more light is coming 30 and the 30 it is coming to this level now you can see the difference of the light coming from the outside but plain light is visible from the window like there is no as such a realistic view that is observable through the window like we have to see we have to see some kind of clouds okay in the real sky so what you need to do it is very easy into this column into the general column you can see this uh, map so over here the map is not assigned i will be stopping this ipr because it is making the system heavy so to avoid that thing just stop this thing if it is not required now click on no map this dialog box will get open now go downwards then just click on v-ray v-ray bitmap click on v-ray bitmap open this one and i have downloaded some of the hdris so you can also download these hdris from polyheaven site okay i will mention the link of the site in the description so i have downloaded just three randomly i have downloaded these hdris you can see okay let's say working with this one so what i have done i have clicked onto the this map then into the v-ray from the v-ray i have selected on v-ray bitmap so i will be selecting this one okay now this map has been assigned over here 
Now I will be clicking on start interactive rendering. Let's see the difference. Now you can see along with the HD array you can see little bit impression of the clouds. Along with these clouds and sunlight is also coming inside the room. Right, so this HD array is also providing us the sun or okay, so in what direction from what what direction the light is coming. Now I want to change this in direction, like it is not appropriate as per my building or whatever the direction in which or the orientation in which you have designed the building. What you need to do, go to the material editor, just see this one, into any of the empty slot, select this one. Now wherever you have added the map or the bitmap or HD array, just click it, hold and drag to any of the empty point and copy it as an instance. Okay. Click on instance. Don't click on copy. It should be on instance. Click OK. Okay. Now this has been applied. Why I have copied this thing over here? Now you can see the difference. Into this column, just go downwards into horizontal rotation. As you change, make sure this is mapping type is selected on spherical. Okay. Make sure about this thing. Now into the horizontal rotation. As you change this value, the entire HDR will start rotating. Let's say I am rotating it by 50 degrees. Click on this. Now you can see the difference. If I am clicking on 60, you can see the HDR as a sphere it is rotating. Okay, now let's say 120. You, with the rotation of the HD array, you can also see the difference in the direction of the sunlight. Just see. Right? Like. Okay. Now let's say, uh, going to the default. This is a default setting at the zero. Uh, we have set this thing. Now, uh, if the scene is not that much bright in your system, what the normal settings you can do? Multiplayer. Change the multiplayer. Make it less or make it more. It depends upon your system or what kind of scene you have created. Just see, let's say 30 I have set, but if you have done the settings from here, you are you are satisfied with the value of multiplayer over here you can change the further setting of your scene from this exposure you can add it from this okay so exposure is over here so as i will change this exposure value the sign the scene will get brighter now or it will become dark you can see the difference or if some burn value is there you can reduce from this column or you can set the contrast of your scene but if it is too much dark so you can increase this thing but along with that the picture will start burning so you have to reduce this value so this entirely depends on what kind of HD array you are using okay so entire scene depends on the HD array now what is the other way of adding that the those who are using V-Ray 6 ok I will stop this screen rendering I will show you the other way of using the HDRI remove this setting of the HDRI go to top view wherever you have placed the HDRI just delete that one I have deleted this one ok now let's say now again into the interactive rendering the, the scene is dark so putting a stop close this one go to this uh, not this one cosmos browser this is also providing us the entire uh, details of hdri so you can see the hdri evening day studio okay let's say evening i want to use one evening you see 
this one i have downloaded so i i will using this downloaded here what you have to do you have to download this then you have to import this one click on this you will see on the bottom right corner it is importing once this dialog box is invisible this means the thing has been imported now close this one you can see on your see at any point the hdr is there so you have to move this close to the scene it doesn't make any effect if you are placing or placing this hdr at any point okay now see this is the hdr which i have downloaded from the cosmos browser on your vr tab now i will see the change click on this start interactive rendering so you can see now the hdr is more cloudy it is an evening scene so rest of the setting whatever i have told you you can do it in your system right so into the hdr select this hdr go to the material editor instance this to any of the slot okay you can rotate this also see like mm, horizontal rotation let's say 90 you can see the scene is getting affected by this one so class this is how uh, we are going to work with the hdr is okay so thank you everyone if any doubts are there you can just put your comment below okay i will be making a separate video for the clarification of those doubts okay thank you